Well, hello y'all, welcome to our safari. Now, I know this was supposed to be like some kind of fun safari adventure that you guys were gonna join me in person for, but I mean, that did have to be canceled, but that doesn't mean we can't still learn about the animals. I'm gonna be telling you this week about all about God's amazing creation. There is just so much in the world that shows us just how wonderful and powerful of a creator he is. Now, on a safari like the one we would have been going on, there are quite a lot of animals we would have been able to see. We don't get to see any in the wild this week, but that doesn't mean I still can't uh, tell you about a few to showcase just how wonderful God's creation actually is. The first animal we are learning about today is the tallest animal on the planet. It's taller than like a lot of one-story buildings. That's right, I'm talking about the giraffe. Their necks are so long that they can reach high above the ground to reach the tops of the trees to get dinner, but their necks aren't long enough to actually reach the ground. If they want to reach the ground, they actually have to kneel down because their necks aren't long enough to like get a drink of water if they're standing up. Now, giraffes are just the first animals that we're going to be learning about this week. There are so many other animals that we're going to be talking about, and the second one might look a little familiar, like you might have seen it at like a petting zoo or a farm or something, but it's going to be a little different. Zebras are not just the horses of the savanna. They are their own unique creatures designed by God to survive and thrive out in Africa. Now, not only does each zebra have its own unique stripe pattern, not unlike our fingerprints, but their stripes also serve a unique purpose. Do you think you know what that is? Their stripes actually function as a sunscreen for them so they don't get burned out on the savanna since they're out in the sun 24 7. Oh, I just thought of a good joke. What's black and white and red all over? <laughs> Not a zebra because they don't get sunburned. <laughs> no? Okay. Now, as amazing as a zebra is, we can't spend all our time here because we have more animals to learn about. Our next animal uh, would have been a little harder to see if we were going to try and see it on a safari just because of its speed, but we don't have to worry about that because I can just show you videos. We were gonna see the ostrich next, which can run up to like 43 miles per hour. That's a lot faster than some of the speed limits in, in the city today. I think that's probably faster than most of your parents drive, like around your neighborhoods. Do you think an ostrich could beat your mom driving her car in a race? Hmm. They're also pretty majestic when they run. Well, not like that. They, they don't have arms. Well, I think we learned a lot about these animals on our safari today. Through these animals, we also learned about God and how he created each and every one of them for their environments. Now, that's not the only way we can learn about God. There is another way, and that's through his word. I think that's my cue to send you over to your lesson for the day. I can't wait to see you all for our safari tomorrow. 